The New York Knicks have found a secret weapon in rookie center Ariel Huck Porty, who is getting ready to get some real minutes while Mitchell Robinson recovers from his ankle surgery. And we have to break down why he could be this secret weapon and be a steal in the draft. So what's up, guys? Welcome back to Knicks Digest. Gonna try not to show my thighs any more than I already did. Let's jump right into the video, guys, because Ariel Huck Porty is someone who we have thought about a lot. All Knicks fans have talked about, especially now understanding that Mitchell Robinson is out until December, potentially even January, and the Knicks center position obviously is very thin with Jericho Sims, Precious Achua, and obviously Julius Randle at some small ball five. There's not much more outside of one man, the last pick in the draft, Ariel Huckporty, who shows that he could be NBA ready, or that he is NBA ready today and also can be a valuable piece and potentially the future backup center for the New York Knicks for years to come. Now, shout out to the Knicks wall because they did a great job breaking down Huck Porty, and we're going to use them a lot in this. So just wanted to give them their flowers. Let's jump into it, guys. As the Knicks wall mentioned, the finishing ability by Ariel Huck Porty is arguably the best skill that he has on offense. He has great hands, can catch in traffic, or above traffic as a lob threat. His lob finishing might be his best individual skill when you look at the versatility of his finishing. He has great screens, and obviously there's more on that later in this paragraph, but his ability to be a roll threat and a target at the rim adds another layer to his, his, to his offensive arsenal. Not only can he finish as a roll man, but he's lethal in transition as a rim runner, and he's a very smart cutter who knows how to get into space. And then the screen setting, the talent is elite. They're one of the best screen setters in the entire draft. And really, it's not only because he's a big man at 6'10", 240 pounds, but his affinity for searching out contact, he's smart with his angles, and he knows how to create space for the ball handler. Now, we know Jalen Brunson loves to use screens, and I could see a world. Now, looking, remember, who is Jalen Brunson's favorite screen setter on the Knicks last year? None other than Isaiah Hartenstein. Now, Hartenstein actually spoke out on Ariel Huckporty and gave him some good advice. German to German, obviously. German Nick to German Nick. Hartenstein wants a Nick, always a Nick. Now, looking at this Knicks team, and we'll get into more of that later, they're going to need more bodies at center, especially in preseason when the starters only play like 15, 10 minutes a night anyway. So Huck Porty is going to get a real chance to go in here and show what he can do for this Knicks team. He does not have that tough of a battle in retrospect for getting some real minutes in this season. Yeah, he's going to have to show that he's better than Jericho Sims, that he's better than Precious Achua, but if he does both of that, I mean, he might end up starting some games. Now, obviously, there's always a world where Jericho's out for a few games or Precious is out, and then you better believe Ariel Huckporty, the Knicks run next man up. You better believe Huckporty's going to be ready to go and ready to play. Now, he will spend time in the G League, obviously, but even before this season, he's shown that he's NBA ready. Huckporty was supposed to go to the draft in 2021, but actually, he tore his Achilles, and things kind of changed. He took a year before that also, so then tearing his Achilles and missing a year and a half of basketball, then coming back and declaring for the draft as a guy who was initially seen as a first-round pick, ends up being the last pick in the draft, 58th overall. Two teams surrendered second-round picks for rule violations. And now, Huck Porty's in a situation where he could turn heads and surprise a lot of people. Now, looking at his stats, he went he was a very good player out in Australia. He came back from his Achilles injury, despite being a rim-running big man, something where the Achilles is such a terrifying injury. He came back, put up more points per game, more rebounds, looked like the same player except under more minutes and had grown more, gotten older, gotten stronger, come back better than ever before from his Achilles injury. And also, if you just take a look at those advanced numbers, or at those per 36 numbers, he puts up a monster double-double. Now, I'm aware that per 36 does not work with everyone, but I'll tell you one thing. You never see someone have a bad per 36 and ever be a good basketball player. Now, Huck Porty also showed out in the G League for the Knicks, putting up solid 8 and 7 numbers, hit 64% of his shots, also shot 60% from the free throw range, which was 6 for 10, albeit, so not many attempts. But he didn't get the most minutes out there, but still showed that he can be a valuable player in the NBA today, that he's ready to go. He's ready to face off against his talent. And obviously, the rim protection is the big calling card for Ariel Huckporty. Now, 
As mentioned by the Knicks, well, the most defining trait of the German big man's defense is clearly his shot blocking. He led the NBL, so the league in Australia, yes, the one that LaMelo Ball played in, in shots blocked this year, and it is very noticeable when watching Melbourne United, the team he plays for, he's an anchor of that defense and impacts everything that is going on on that side of the ball. This is a guy that Tom Thibodeau might just fall in love with, and if that happens, then we're going to see Huck Porty getting minutes two-way contract or not. I know I've talked a lot about how Huck Porty's not going to get minutes because he's on a two-way. Now with Robinson out till January, Huck Porty is going to certainly get a good amount of minutes in preseason. And we could see that carry over. The Knicks are not going to send Huck Porty down to the G League when Robinson's out for the first three months of the year. That doesn't make any sense. You need the extra body out there just in case so you have three true centers. Especially because, well, Precious Achu is not a true center. You need another one outside of Jericho Sims to be a true center. Now, as I mentioned, none other than former Knicks center, Isaiah Hartenstein, also an excellent screen setter, Jalen Brunson loves it, did talk to Ariel Huckporty and told him some things to do to get acclimated as a New York Knick. Now, as Hartenstein mentioned, he told Huckporty to make sure he brings energy to the table, a lot of defense, a lot of rebounding, make sure you keep your game simple, don't complicate it. Just listen to the coaches, whatever they want on defense. Make sure you're capable of adapting and all of that. And when Huckporty talked about his first few games in the summer league, he had this to say. He said, I just feel like I have to get used to making the game a little bit more, making the right reads, being in the system more. I feel like I could definitely fit in. I mean, he clearly listened to what Isaiah Hartenstein had to say. And hopefully that what Hartenstein mentioned does have an impact on him. Now, also, guys... Here's where I mention a little secret. I actually already filmed this video and then thought it would be funny if I played the song I Miss You by Blink-182 where it's like, where are you? And then the video got copyrighted and I wasn't going to make any money off it, so I didn't release it. So I have to reshoot it right now. I've shot a ton of videos today. I'm losing my mind, guys. Please subscribe. I'm really working hard out here. But look, Ariel Huckporty is... He's someone who I think will break out. He is a secret weapon for the Knicks that they have found. He's a diamond in the rough. You usually don't find the 58th overall pick on a two-way contract. Like, him. He's going to have an impact on day one. Ariel Huckporty, he might have an impact on day one. That dude can ball. He can play. So, looking at him, I kind of fidgeted. That's why I went back and forth. Um, I'm losing it, guys. Um... Ariel Huckporty is a phenomenal, phenomenal athlete. That has not changed since the Achilles injury. He is a rim runner. He blocks shots well. He is similar to Mitchell Robinson, similar to Clint Capella, that type of mold. Tom Thibodeau is going to love that. We know the Knicks have interest in Capella. We know the Knicks have interest in those type of rim running centers who kind of mirror Mitchell Robinson. This is going to work out well for the Knicks. I am down to really believe that Ariel Huckporty when given the chance early on in his NBA career, early on in the season, is going to show that he's a valuable piece for this team. We are going to see him on the New York Knicks, not on the G League for the first few months. So get ready to get used to that, man. Guys, I cannot wait to watch him. Let me know. Are you guys hyped for Ariel Huckporty? Am I overhyping the last pick in the draft at 58 overall? Let me know down below. Like this video. Subscribe. Turn on post notifications, guys. Please subscribe. I, I just, I'm reshooting this video because I'm stupid. I'm trying to play Blink-182 during this. I'm doing my best.